Good morning, everybody, and welcome to the PixelDatabase.net Picture of the Day, Episode 2. In this video, I hope Rachel Heffley, if I'm saying that right, doesn't mind. She has this picture here, and I think it's pretty cool. I am going to attempt to change the color of the rope in this video. I'm going to copy this image, and I'll go over to Paint.net. Let me open that. Let's see, save as, and I'll just go to my temp folder. And she called this picture Francisca. I probably can't spell it, but it doesn't matter. Spelling doesn't count at 4 or 5 a.m., I hope. All right, so next we're going to go to pixeldatabase.net. Let me open my site. Hope it's all awake this morning. And next I am going to go to my temp folder. And here's our picture. Okay, so now I'm going to turn on the color picker. If you look at the rope, I'm guessing it's got quite a bit of red in it. I was right. So red is the most dominant color in the rope. So yeah, there blue actually is. Luckily, all this is pretty dark. So I think I can do this by total. Just in case you haven't ever used pixeldatabase.net before, it's a lot of trial and error. It's on my list to kind of make some analyzers, maybe some like uh, suggestions for queries, but haven't got that far right now though. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to look at the total and most of the rope is in the 300 range it appears. That was really dark right down there. Okay, so I don't know how this is going to work, so we'll find out. We're going to say update, if I could spell. Set swap blue red. Actually, I'll just say adjust blue. Adjust blue 100. I just want to see if we can identify these queries. I mean, these pixels. Where total. Actually, I'm going to try something else. Min max difference greater than 20. The min would be 64 and the max is 132, so that's going to be quite a bit higher. What are these? Okay, this is all a lot closer, so that might help fix this easier. Okay, so let's just try our query. Okay, that did her hair too, though. So if I look at her hair, it's in the, trying to determine something that can distinguish the hair from this. And it looks like the rope doesn't have very much blue red is what I'm looking at. If you look at the blue difference, most of this is very low on blue compared to the hair. So I can just add a blue less than 100. I'll do 125 to see what that does. No pixels. Oh, that's because I can't type. Blue less than 125. Okay, that did the hair still. I'm still trying to, let me look at the hair, right? there. Okay, so let's raise that number up a little. Actually, down a little. I mean, I don't want to do the hair. So that's kind of a purpley. Now I'm going to try a different color now that I know I identified the pixels. Okay, so we are going to reset our image and I will try, I'll make it real blue so we can really tell the difference. Okay, so that is our picturedatabase.net pixel of the day, picture of the day, but there I made the rope blue, that's all I was trying to do. So basically there's all kind of ways you can, you know, there's colors like blue, red difference, and blue, green difference. There's generally some kind of a way, as long as it's not a real grayscale image, to identify certain groups of pixels. Alright, well thanks for watching, it was a real short video, but I just wanted to show you my picture of the day. Have a great day.